Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I've been told I've been doing this wrong. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to our Vietnam series. This is actually our very first time visiting Vietnam and for our first stop we are here in Da Nang. So join Peter and I as we try for the first time culinary delights from five stores that locals would enjoy here in Da Nang. And we might even squeeze in some pampering too. Let's go! Let's go! First up, we have Mi Quang, a noodle dish that originated from central Vietnam. It is one of the most popular and nationally recognized food items. I've got the snakehead fish Mi Quang, and I'm not even sure what a snakehead fish even looks like, but here we've got it. Looks like some pretty thick noodles, and the snakehead looks like it's been dunked in some turmeric, maybe, and I've got a couple of peanuts here. It's not like over-soaked in broth or anything like that, just a little splatter of extra flavor. Now we've been told that we're meant to add some of these veggies into. Also meant to add in some of these crackers. See how this goes. Mm. I got so much of that snakehead fish especially. It tastes like it's been coated in a nice curry powder. And then the basil. Definitely a very strong basil here. These nice squishy noodles which have a really great texture. Delicious dish and I'm very happy right now. Just finished off our first meal and we've just caught a grab off to our second place now which is a family style restaurant called Bet Pen. This place looks really cool. It's got a lot of plants and tropical vibes going on. Food here smells and looks amazing. We've got some caramelized pork with egg, fried garlic corn, and eggplant stuffed with meat as well. I'm gonna try this caramelized pork. It's very hot and it's sweet too. This is the kind of pork that I like where it's got a bit more of a chew to it. It's like cashew. That's really yummy. Let's cut one of these eggs open. I thought it was gonna be quite soft, but it's actually very firm. And it's soaked in all that yummy soy sauce. Mm, that's good. I'm going in for some of these eggplants being stuffed with a whole bunch of mints and they're covered in spring onions. This is such a comforting flavor because it tastes a lot like home style roll. And the eggplant kind of has the same kind of texture as like fatty pork, which is what you get in home style roll. And then of course you get the lean mints inside. It's super delicious and the nice little spring onions just pop it off with a little bit of herbaceousness. We've also got here some garlic prawns. The skin is actually incredibly soft. The nice garlic flavor comes through really strongly. And it just tastes like a prawn cracker with a little bit of a soft inside of those homely vibes. Massive thumbs up. Fact number one, Da Nang is a popular tourist spot, not just for overseas foreigners, but for locals too. Fact number two, Da Nang is located smack bang in the middle of three heritage sites. You've got Hue, which is the old ancient capital, Hoi An, which is a nice ancient town, and then you've got Mai Song, which is a UNESCO protected heritage site. We're going to check out all three of them in future episodes as well. Final fact, in Southeast Asia, fast speed internet is a prized asset and Da Nang has excellent speeds. That makes it a very popular spot for digital nomads. Our next spot serves Ban Tran Hit Hao, which is something I've wanted to try for a very long time. It is also something I need help from the locals in figuring out how to eat. Oh, thank you. Okay, I've been told I've been doing this wrong. <laughs> so the correct way is to pour your shrimp paste first, dunk the big crispy rice paper in water to soften it up. You will also get a small plate of soft smaller rice paper. Put this in the middle of your larger paper and now you can add the veggies. Last step is to add meat over the top, compact it all into a spring roll, and you're ready to dip and eat. Let's get in for this first bite. I'm super excited for this. That sauce is intense. It's got so much shrimpy flavor in there, but then the shrimp paste is counterbalanced by all the freshness inside the wrap, and then you've got just that little meat poking through with a little bit of flavor on top. This is delicious. We're just talking to the nice guys here and thanks to Google Translate we're able to work out what some of these things are. So this one here, we thought was a papaya, it's actually a mango. These leaves, we had no idea, but they are jungle brooch leaves. And they gave us some little berries to try and it was very um, numbing on the mouth. 
really unusual peppery kind of taste and then everything just sort of numbs out. <laughs> just adds a really interesting flavour. Yeah. Thanks Google Translator, thanks guys. You're at Bantra HQ. <laughs> So far that's got to be one of my favourite experiences eating here in Vietnam, being able to sit on one of these tiny little chairs on the roadside, eating something that we're totally unfamiliar with. That was an awesome experience. Hey guys, so I know we're meant to be doing a food episode right now, but we got a little bit distracted right now. We're here in Queen Spa and we're about to get a bamboo massage. I'm super excited for this. Yen and I have done massages in Thailand. We've done massages in Bali. And for the first time, we're getting a bamboo massage here in Vietnam. There's gonna be some really hot bamboos being rolled onto our bodies. So we can't wait to experience this. And look at this place. It's so relaxing already. This is our room. It's a really cool like Egyptian theme. I'd say it's something like a mix between Balinese and Thai massages bamboo sticks they hand craft them here and they get up to about 60 degrees so it's hotter than a hot stone massage and hotter than a herbal compress as well there's a lot of like nice long stroking motions and you know when you're baking and how you roll out the dough basically we were that dough <laughs> it felt really great and after you finish you're treated to a drink some dragon fruit and looks like another little tea <gasps> feel really <Yeah>. spoiled <laughs> This next spot that we're headed to is very popular and it's down a bit of a hidden alley so we're going to have to take a bit of a walk to find it. We're going to get some ban xiao, which literally translates to sizzling cakes. Should be an interesting one to eat. The interesting thing about this place to know is that you don't need to order anything, you just come in, get seated and the food will arrive. They'll give you enough for according to how many people there are. Grab this rice paper, you grab one of these, which are the sizzling crepes. Check on some veggies. Looks like a fantastic mouthful. We're gonna give that a try now. Oh, man. That is amazing. The flavors in here are just spectacular. I got a massive burst of lime flavor. This crepe itself is just absolutely delicious. It's the perfect amount of saltiness. It's the freshness of the herbs, and inside, there's a prawn which has been seasoned perfectly. Lots of shrimpy flavors in there. Oh man, that is a delicious bite. And I absolutely love the texture of this rice paper that you wrap it with. It just has a little bit of extra chew to this whole thing. Along with the bancho, you also get served a couple of meat skewers at the same time. You'll only get charged for the ones that you eat. Chuck it in, grab it with your hand, and yoink it out. It's a really nice, they're very um, squishy, kind of like a fish ball, but a meat ball paste. <laughs> Fresh and it's meaty and it's yum. Next thing that we're trying is a local dish to Da Nang. It's called Bun Chaka, which are fish ball noodles. Bun Chaka is a favorite among coastal cities, and as we entered the store, we smelled a yummy aroma from the pot of soup. We learned that bun means noodles in Vietnamese, so usually it's the white rice noodles, and cha means meat. Normally, if it's on its own, you can assume that it's pork, but if it's got something after it, like ka, cha ka, then it's the processed fish cakes in this case. So in these noodles here, you can see we've got the fish cakes, a couple of different types. There's some bamboo, a pumpkin, First, let's have a try that soup. Ooh, that's a flavorsome soup. It's quite sweet for a soup, interestingly. Must be because of that pumpkin. But the main star of the dish is obviously these fish cakes. It's got a really nice bite to it. Ooh, and it's got a good pepper kick afterwards, too. The noodles are really nice, too. They're very silky and cooked really well as well. Every single dish that we've tried so far in Da Nang has been amazing. And this is no exception. Bon Taka. Top notch. That wraps up our first episode here in Da Nang. That's right, we are here in August. It is exceptionally hot, but the food here is really delicious and best of all, it's cheap. Yeah, we can't wait to explore more of this beautiful country, Vietnam. We're gonna have a whole bunch more delicious food and we're gonna see a lot more scenery as well. So, million dollar question, oh. what was your favorite? <laughs> this is so hard. I really liked so many of the places today that Bet hand, the, the rolls were all super yum too. Oh, if I had to pick, it probably is Ban Xiu because that crepe, that sizzling cake, yum, super yeah. delicious. 
That's a pretty good choice. That was exceptionally delicious, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Ben Hen just because it reminded me of mum's cooking. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see more from us, you know what to do. Please give us those thumbs up, leave us a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. But also, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode from us. Catch ya. Catch you next time.